Hi, I'm Lari, and welcome to your back, bicep, and booty strength workout. What you're going to need today, dumbbells. The more dumbbells you have, the merrier. Grab them all. We will also need a mat. We will need a mini band, preferably a heavier resistance band, because we're gonna use it for lower body. And you need a workout bench, but if you don't have a bench, just grab a chair, all right? Just make sure the back of the chair is up against a wall. Now, if you do have a workout bench, there's one exercise today, reverse hypers. I want you to perform it on the bench. I know a lot of us don't have a bench, so I'm gonna be performing it on the mat, but this bench will provide a greater range of motion. All right, so grab all your stuff. We're gonna start with a super quick body weight warm up. Four exercises, every exercise today, it is time, 60 on, 15 seconds off. After the warm up, we get into our strength block. So grab all your stuff and let's get going. Our warm up will be performed on your belly. So go ahead, bring it on down. Now, once we get going, I'm not gonna talk that much because my mic will sound muffled. First exercise, this will target the back. So we have a lying back extension. So your toes are gonna stay planted, neutral spine. Big deep inhale. As we exhale, hands behind the heads, lift the chest. So we're gonna feel it all along the back, especially that mid back area, and then control it down. So big deep inhale. As we exhale, we lift and we move. That is our first exercise. This is our warm up. 60 seconds in three, two, and one. Let's work. And one. Next up, we have some lying preacher rows. So we're gonna hold the top of that back extension, arms go out, and then we bring those lat muscles down. So bring the lat muscles down and then reach out. So elbows flare out to the side, work on drawing the lats down. All right, this one is gonna burn. One. All right, next up we have reverse snow angel. So we're gonna reach the arms forward, just lifting the chest, and then we rotate the grip to a supinated grip so palms are facing up. Big squeeze of that mid to upper back, and then we bring it around. All right, let's go. So bring it out, flip the grip, and then rotate palms down, palms up. Lift the chest a little bit more. So we reach out. We reach up. Let the eyes drop, 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 let the e
Last three, two, and one. Wow. All right, my back's on fire, but we have one more exercise. So we're gonna hold the top. This time we're gonna add the feet with it. So we're gonna add a little bit of glutes and we just kick opposite arm, opposite legs. We go for swimmers in three, two, and one. Let's go. Last three, two, and one, recover. All right, next up, we have pullovers, dumbbell pullovers. Now we can perform it on a bench or a chair. I'll also give you, if you don't have a bench or a chair, we can perform it on the mat as well. We have wall slides, we will need to be by a wall, and then we have donkey kicks on the right and on the left. For lat pullovers, grab a heavy dumbbell. For the donkey kicks, grab a lighter dumbbell. All right, our first exercise is dumbbell pullovers. If you don't have a bench or a chair that is doable for this, just perform it on the mat. All right, so shoulder blades go into your bench or your chair. We bring the hips up, so we're holding a little ISO hip thrust here. And then I'm gonna just lay my head down onto the bench as well for a little bit more support. Now from here, we take the dumbbell behind us. No more hinging from the elbows. Our target is the lat, so right here, not right here. If we bend the elbows, we will fill it in the tricep. So reach it back, three, two, one, big stretch of the lats, and then we bring it right back up. All right, go heavier for this. 60 seconds, we'll start. And three, two, and one, let's go. I can see the fire that we made just to save us when we try to make up for never letting go. Said the things we promised not to say, then we we'll break up just to start our love. Last three, two, and one. All right, find your wall. We have wall slides next. We're using body weight only. This is a lot harder than what it looks like. So field goal position, press the backs of the hands into the wall. We take it down, three, two, one, and then bring it up. Work on really squeezing the lats down. Let's go, press into the wall as hard as you can. Three, two, one, bring it up. Three, two, one. Bring it up, keep pressing into that wall. That's what's gonna make it really challenging. Last three, two, and one. Donkey kicks. Place a dumbbell behind your left knee and then do not let it drop. I'm coming down to my forearms. I like the engagement a little better this way. Right arm goes out to the side. Left heel reaches up towards the sky and then we bring it down. All right, normal tempo, let's go. Pause at the top, make sure you feel it in your left glute. 
This left hip needs to stay down, so fight the urge to want to rotate open. Big squeeze of the glute, bring it down. burned by now. We have three, two, and one. Bring it up. Switch that dumbbell behind the right leg. Hang on to it. Do not let it drop. We go on to our right forearm. Left hand goes out to the side. You can always bring it to the hands if needed. Squeeze the glute at the top. Normal tempo. One. All right, we go back to those dumbbell pullovers. This time, normal eccentric, normal concentric. We're just repping it out 60 seconds. Make any adjustment to your weight selection that you need to. The final 10 to 15 seconds should be a struggle. Let's go. Last three, two, and one. Release that dumbbell, bring it down. Find your wall. Now we have wall slides, normal tempo. So press into the wall. You're pressing into the wall, big squeeze of the lats up and down. This should burn pretty quick. Let's go. Last three, two, and one. Back to those donkey kicks. This time, we bring it up and we pulse for three. So three hard pulses, squeeze the glute each and every pulse. Bring the dumbbell behind the left leg, left forearm, right fingertips. We go in three, two, and one. Bring it up, pulse, three, two, one, back down. 
pulse three two one back down so think about squeezing the glute really hard harder and hardest keep the left hip down don't let it rotate open And one. All right. Let's switch sides. Dumbbell goes behind the right. Get down on our right forearm, left fingertips. You can always come to the hands if you want to. Find what works for you. Three hard pulses at the top. Let's go. that left hip locked in place. So do not let the left hip sway over to the side. The core is helping to stabilize that hip. Keep it tight. Last three, two, and one. All right, we need one heavy dumbbell, and then we need to place your band around your thighs. So we have a neutral grip, single arm rows. We'll do left and right, and then we go into reverse hypers. I'm going to be performing it on my mat, but if you have a bench, perform it on the bench because you will get greater range of motion. But I understand not a lot of us have workout benches at home, so I'll be doing this option. Grab all your stuff. On to block two. All right, so I already have my band around my thigh, so I don't have to mess with it after our single arm low rows. This is the exercise where I really want you to push yourself these rows. So right foot forward, left foot back. Brace yourself with your bench or with your chair. All right, so we have a hold of that dumbbell. We're gonna bring it up. One count up. Three, two, one on the eccentric face. All right, y'all. We go in three, two. And one, let's work. Bring it up, slow it down for three, two, one. Again, one count up, one count squeeze. Three, two, one as we lower. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and believe. Know what I want, so I'll take it on. I made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong. Let's break it down for a minute. I want the crown, I'm gon' get it. You hear me loud, man, I'm winning. Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be grinning. These ladies know that I'm sitting, and this is just the beginning. I'm closing in the night, and there ain't no point in resisting. Living life like a dream, baby, right past the thing. Every night, got a team. I've been tied to the scene. Out on stage, here I'm screaming. Okay, it's a dream, and I pray as a team. One day, it be me. If I want it, then I get it. Hey, Dad, don't regret it. Push myself. Last three, two, and one. Nice work. All right. Let's take it to the other side. Left foot forward, right foot back. Slow eccentric, one count pause at the top. We go in three, two, and one. Let's work. They're looking up to me. They want the best of me now. Best of me now, best of me now, best of me. They want the best of me now, best of me now, best of me now, best of me. I 
pray to God, man, I'ma make it soon. Silence all the haters as they see us making moves. I do what I want, so I got nothing to prove. Staying motivated, teaching others what to do. Last three, two, and one. All right, now we have the reverse hypers. If you have a bench, use your bench. All right, if not, we come down to the ground. We lift the lower body only. So big squeeze of the upper glutes, control it down. Press into the band as we lift. I'm putting my head down, let's go. Last three, two, and one. All right, we're going back to those single arm rows. Same tempo. This time we're going to switch up the grip to a pronated grip. We're going to target mid to upper back this time. So switch the grip. So palm is facing you. Now we flare the elbow out to the side and then control it on the way down. Let's go. Elbow flares out to the side. Three, two, one on the way down. So with the neutral grip, it was lat focus. Now with this pronated grip, we're gonna target a little different part of the back. other side. Ooh, okay. <laughs> this is tough. Flare that elbow out, big squeeze, control it on the way down. We go in three, two, and one less work. Last three, two, and one. All right, reverse hypers. This time, add one pulse at the top. So you're press, you're driving up and pressing into the band. This time with a pulse at the top. So extra squeeze of the glutes, up and out. Let's go. One pulse at the top, bring it down. So drive it up and into the band.
two, and one. All right, final round of these two exercises. Now this time, normal tempo. First 30 seconds, we go neutral grip. Second 30, pronated grip. So just listen for my cue. We'll keep the tempo the same. We'll just flip the grip. Neutral grip to start, let's go. Five seconds, we switch to pronated in three, two, keep the tempo, just flip the grip. Notice the change of the muscle activation. It switches just a little bit to mid to upper back instead of lat focused. It is burning, final 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, we switch to right. First 30, neutral grip. Second 30, pronated grip. Oh, okay, final round of these. We go in three, two, and one. Let's work. Five seconds, we switch to pronated in three, two, and one. Keep the tempo, flip the grip. One, set that dumbbell down. Now we go to reverse hypers, final round this time. Two pulses at the top, so we bring it up and then we pulse for two. All right, press up and into the band. Glute focus in three, two, and one. Bring it up, pulse for two, bring it down. Bring it up, two pulses, and then bring it down. Really think about squeezing the glutes here. and recover oh nice work all right we are on to upper back rear delt and biceps next so grab a light set of dumbbells and then a moderate set of dumbbells for the curls strength block number three we're only going to do two rounds of these two exercises before moving on to our final block next up we have a hip hinge rear delt fly we're going to keep a neutral grip throughout so we're going to hinge forward uh, pretend like you're going around a beach ball so big squeeze of that upper back back of the shoulders and then just control it on the way down let's start with a slow eccentric so don't hinge right here that's going to look like a row really want you to keep your lever long that's where we're going a little bit lighter on this one all right longer lever it's going to be a little bit more challenging we go in three two and one rear delt, rear delt flies control the eccentric Gotta look 
Last three, two, and one. Wow, okay. Now we have a bilateral supinated curl, slow eccentric. Let's see if I can do this weight, we'll see. We won't know unless we try. So we curl up, three, two, one as we lower. All right, let's go. One count up, one count squeeze. Three, two, one as we lower. Core stays tight. Do not use the lower body to throw the weights up. This is what I see all the time in person. Don't do that. Keep the core tight. I know you're not, but just a reminder, we got this. All in the upper body, feel the biceps do the work. Halfway through 30 seconds. If at any point you feel your lower body uh, have to move the weight, Grab the lighter set of dumbbells and finish out. Make it a little drop set. Three, two, and one. Wow. All right. Now we repeat that one more time. This time, both rounds, normal tempo. Don't fling those dumbbells on the rear delts. I've seen someone accidentally slip and hit like that before. So control it, even though it's normal tempo, let's go. Always control the weight. If you feel out of control, lighten your resistance. Ooh, it's burning. Last rep and recover. All right, I'm gonna try my same weight selection I did last round, but I'm gonna have my lighter weights available in case I need to switch them out mid, uh, mid set, all right? If we lose our form or if we max out, change out the weight. Normal tempo, up and down. Three, two, and one. Grab a drink of water. We have one more block. It is booty and biceps. All right, so grab all your stuff. I'll do a quick demo before we begin. All right, our final strength block of the day, we have three rounds, but we're gonna change it up every single time, so it's gonna feel super fresh. All right, so body weight only, but if you want, you can add a dumbbell for more of a challenge, but body weight will do the trick for most of us. All right, so we're right here, left foot ground, right foot turns into a kickstand. We have hip thrust, 60 seconds, big squeeze at the top, and then we'll change it out, right foot, left heel goes out. 
And then we hit alternating bicep curls with a neutral grip, so hammer, alternating curls. I'm gonna go back to my heavier weight selection and we'll see how we do with that. Okay, so first up, we have B stands hip thrust. The next round, it's gonna be more challenging, different variation. The final round will be the most challenging. If you wanna make this more challenging than it already is, grab a dumbbell, place it on the hips. All right, get into position. You can do this on a chair too. Just make sure the back of the chair is up against the wall. Left heel down, right foot kick stand. Let's go. Big squeeze of the glute at the top. Control it down. Normal tempo. Go at your own pace. Make sure your hips stay level. You should feel it in the left glute. If you start to feel it in your low back, just make sure you're keeping your hips connected to your rib cage. So my hips are slightly underneath my bottom rib cage right here. If we go like that, then we feel it in our glutes. Look straight ahead. That'll help keep the spine neutral. One, we switch to the other side. So make sure you feel this in your glute, not your low back. So don't let the rib cage flare out to the side. Keep bottom hip, or excuse me, bottom rib cage and your hip bone right here connected. ASIS. One. All right, hammer curl. Now we alternate, neutral grip, slow eccentric. So one count up, three, two, one as we lower, and then we hit that other side. Ooh, we go. And three, two, and one. It's our time to shine. Show that's the kind of state of mind you gotta combine with hard work and time. You gotta climb to the top. Don't let yourself drop till your heart stops. Let this beat rock. Got a new clock and a new stock for this new rock. Just let your mind loose from the new stock. Drunk off the goose. Yeah. Thinking that I'm too pumped. Yeah. Getting caught with a few thoughts. Cause I'm, I'm too lost. Off. Speakers can't even handle me. Yeah. Even what I got. No Last rep. Three, two, and one. All right, next up, these hip thrusts are going to be super challenging. All right, so we drive it up bilateral, and then right leg comes up and we go down single leg. So bilateral on the way up, single leg on the way down. Let's go. Drive it up both heels, right leg comes up, single leg eccentric. Bilateral concentric, single leg eccentric. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I never give it up, I never know I'm gonna take, take, taking that crown from you. I worried about you, I never So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I never give it up, I never give it up. I'm gonna take, take, taking that crown from you. I worried about you, I need to make it. I never slowing down, keep on going. 
Three, two, and one. All right, we go to the other side. Bilateral, concentric, left leg goes up, single leg, eccentric. Keep the core tight to help stabilize the spine and the hips. Let's go. Drive it up both feet. Left leg goes up. Control it down. Reset. Three, two, and one. All right, hammer curls alternating this time, normal tempo. All right. Let's hit that same weight selection. We had a longer recovery and we go in three, two, and one. By now, it should start to feel like a struggle. If not, we can probably go a little bit heavier. Last three, two, and one. Whew. All right, final leg of these unilateral hip thrusts, this time single leg. So ground through the left foot, right leg comes up. I prefer just keeping a bend in it. You can keep it straight but this will do the trick as well. So same, same concept, hip hinge motion, squeeze the left glute. This is just gonna challenge our core a little bit more. If this is too much, as a modification or option, take it to one of the previous two versions. Make sure your hip stays underneath that rib cage or in line with it. If it goes up like that, you will feel it in the low back. And that's not what we want. Well, it is a back day, but not this exercise. All glutes. Three, two, and one. Oh, okay, other side. So as you notice, my heel is tapping the ground with it. That's what feels good for me. You can keep it really pretty up in the air, but I want you to do whatever you need to in order to get that good activation. Let's go right side.
effects. <laughs> yeah. I never take doubt as a lesson. I never second guess it. Take negativity and reject it. I got my mind blind to rejection. So I'll be just fine. Don't be wasting any time with discretion. Three, two, and one. All right, final round of these hammer curls. This time we're gonna go bilateral, have your light sets of dumbbells available if we need to do a drop set. And then we have one more round of those hip thrusts, but it's gonna be bilateral, it's gonna be our burnout. Here we go, hammer curls, both arms. Normal tempo. If you max out before time, grab a lighter set and continue. You guessed it, every second is a blessing. Got no time to be depressed. On this grind, you always stress, so I work harder than the rest. That always said to do my best. I'll never doubt myself. I can count on no one else. And I do not need your help. I was told to show, not tell. I don't ever doubt myself. I can count on no one else. And I do not need your help. I was told to show, not tell. So watch me. Last rep. Recover. Bring one of those weights with you. Bilateral hip thrust. 45 seconds, normal tempo. And then we'll do 30 second of pulses. All right, both heels, drive it up. Squeeze the glute at the top. Glutes at the top. Let's go, this is it. Final 75 seconds. Yeah. I swear to God, if you want it, then you got to get it. Cause when I'm on my deathbed, no, I will not regret it. You only got one life, one shot, don't let it slip away. Today, get up and make a big change, huh? You decide your own future, a winner or a loser. A headline or a rumor on the bench or a shooter. Superstar or recruiter, defensive prosecutor. Just living a consumer or will you be a producer? In five seconds, we hold pulse, pulses at the top in three. Two and one, we pulse 30 seconds, just an inch up. Big squeeze of the glutes every time you pulse up. Yeah. I don't ever doubt myself. I can count on no one else. And I do not need your help. I was told to show. Final 15 seconds. I don't ever doubt myself. I can count on no one else. And I do not need your help. You got this. Last three. Two and one. Whew. Come out of it. We are done. Now, let's stretch, shall we? Okay. Awesome work today. Light glutes. So we didn't hit the weight too hard on the glutes, but just enough for a nice little pump. But we hit the back and the biceps pretty hard today. So let's go ahead and stretch it out. Bring your hands to your bench or your chair. Walk it out. And let's just get a big stretch along those lats. You can do this on the ground as well. So if you don't have a piece of equipment, like a bench, get creative with it. Don't let it throw you off. I don't want you to get mad and, and irritated that you don't have this. You can make do with a chair and we can uh, do options like we did on the reverse hypers on the mat instead of doing it on a bench. When we do have this elevation, it provides a greater range of motion, which means a bigger stretch of the muscle. It makes it a little bit harder, typically. All right. Oh, what do we do next? All right, let's just cross it over. <laughs> let's just go stretch here. Oh, nice work. Let's hit that other side. Let's bring the hands forward, flip the grip so the fingertips are pointed to your quads. Inhale, neutral tabletop. And then as we exhale very, very, very slowly, start to send the hips back and feel a big stretch along the back of the, the forearms and into the wrist. All right, shift it forward, shake out one hand, shake out the other. Let's rise up to a standing position. Use your wall or your bench to help stabilize. And then shift the weight into the right foot, cross the outside of the left ankle over right quad, hinge it back until we're in a figure four. So 
it's called a figure four because look, it looks like a four. And then just hinge it back and down. You'll feel a big stretch along the back of the left hip into the left glute. Make sure this left knee is driving back and then bring it down a little bit more. Inhale it up, let's hit the other side. All right, when we're done, let's release, inhale up. And then as we exhale, cactus the arms, open up the chest. Let's do that again, inhale up and exhale open. Y'all, great work today. This is day three of uh, the month four strength program. I'm, I'm shooting and editing as I go. So once I have it all completed, I will have it linked below. All right, y'all did so good today. Keep up the amazing work. My name is Laurie and have a wonderful rest of the day. You rock.